Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. Column is one of the important structural member which carries the slab load as well as beam load. It is very important to know about the reinforcement details in column. As we all know that we provide longitudinal bars as well as transverse bars in columns. Longitudinal bars are the vertical bars whereas the transverse bars are the closed ties. In this video, we are going to discuss in detail about the transverse reinforcement which we provide in column like what are all the codal provisions for transverse reinforcement and how much spacing should we provide and what is the spacing between two longitudinal bars everything we will discuss in detail in this video so without delay let's begin now first let's start with longitudinal bars and transverse bars in a column the vertical bars are longitudinal bars and these closed ties this we can call it as close to tie these ties are called transverse bar if you look into the plan these are main bars which are called as longitudinal bars and the bar which is connecting all the longitudinal bar that is called transverse bar we can even call it as lateral ties so now why do we provide this longitudinal bar and why do we provide this transverse bar the column has to carry the load right so column is a compression member it has to carry the load which is coming from beams and slab in order to resist the load which is coming on the column we need to provide the longitudinal bar so longitudinal bar is mainly to resist the load which is coming on the column whereas the lateral ties are provided to hold the longitudinal bar in place imagine if we don't provide the transverse bar what happens the longitudinal bars will not be in place so to hold the longitudinal bars in place and to avoid buckling of longitudinal bars we need to provide these transverse bars apart from this it has another major function the transverse bars are mainly meant to resist the shear force which is coming on the column so, so these are all the reasons why do we provide longitudinal bars and why do we provide transverse bars in columns now let's look into few arrangements of longitudinal bar and transverse bar that is lateral ties in column so if the column is in square shape if we provide only four number of bars we provide only one lateral tie which is connecting all the four longitudinal bars if the column dimension is different if we provide more number of longitudinal bars then the tie arrangement has to be different see here this is one tie which is connecting all the outer four bars and after that here we have one tie which is connecting these four bars and middle we have one tie that is connecting only these two bars in this way we need to provide the arrangements similarly if we have more number of bars instead of middle one tie here also we have four number of bars and we have provided one closed tie to connect these four bars next let's look into this arrangement this is little bit different from the arrangements what we have seen here in this shorter direction we have three bars whereas here we have only two bars so this is the one tie which is connecting all the outer four bars and here we have one tie in the triangle shape that is connecting these three bars and here we have four bars and this tie is connecting these four bars this is a closed tie and here we have four bars and we have one tie which is connecting these four bars and similarly here we have one triangular tie which is connecting these three bars so in this way the arrangements will differ according to the number of longitudinal bars provided in the column and according to the dimensions of the column so here we have another arrangement one two three four five six we have six longitudinal bars and if you look into the tie arrangement see this is one tie which is connecting all the outer bars this is closed here and next this tie is connecting these four bars one two three four and which is closed here similarly these four bars are connected by this tie and here also we have one tie which is connecting these four bars and again we have one tie which is connecting these four bars similarly in this column we have one tie which is connecting all the outer bars and closed here and again 
one two three four this four number of bars has been closed by this time and again see here one two three four see middle there are two bars we have provided separate one tie for this tie or hook we can say hook for this and these four bars are connected by one tie which is closed here and again these four bars are connected by one tie and in this direction we have one tie which is connecting one two three four bars and which is closed here similarly we have one tie which is connecting one two three four bars which is closed here so in this way the reinforcement arrangement the lateral tie arrangement will differ according to the longitudinal bars and size of the column now let's look into the codal provision for transverse reinforcement in is 456-2000 class number 26.5.3.2 the general requirement is given for transverse reinforcement a reinforced concrete compression member shall have transverse or helical reinforcement so dispose that every longitudinal bar nearest to the compression phase has effective lateral support against buckling subjected to provisions in B so the B class is given here the effective lateral support is given by transverse reinforcement either in the form of circular rings capable of taking up circumferential tension or by polygonal links lateral ties with internal angles not exceeding 135 degree so here we need to note this point the internal angle not exceeding 135 degree the ends of transverse reinforcement shall be properly anchored as we have seen in the drawing the ends of the transverse reinforcement shall be properly anchored next let's look into the arrangement of transverse reinforcement which is given in class b the first one is if the longitudinal bars are not spaced more than 75 mm on either side transverse reinforcement need only to go round corner and alternate bars for the purpose of providing effective lateral support which is given in figure 8 so as you can see here if the spacing of the longitudinal bar not exceeding 75 mm then the transverse reinforcement is need to provide round corner and alternate bar for the purpose of providing effective lateral support so no need to provide a separate lateral tie for these bars if the spacing of bar not exceeding 75 m and the second one is if the longitudinal bar spaced at a distance not exceeding 48 times the diameter of the tie are effectively tied in two directions additional longitudinal bars in between these need to be in tied in one direction by open ties see figure 9 so if the spacing of the longitudinal bars not exceeding 48 times the diameter of the tie if that is the case then the additional longitudinal longitudinal bars these two are the additional longitudinal bar between these two bars so that need to be connected by using open ties this we can call it as hook longitudinal bar spaced at a distance of not exceeding 48 times the diameter of tie so in that case the additional longitudinal bars need to be tied in one direction by open ties next one is where the longitudinal reinforcing bars in a compression member are placed in more than one row see here the longitudinal bars are placed in more than one row then the effective lateral support to the longitudinal bars in the inner rows may be assumed to have been provided if the transverse reinforcement is provided for the outermost row in accordance with 26.5.3.2 no bar of the inner row is closer to the nearest compression phase than three times the diameter of the largest bar in the inner row so outer row anyway we need to provide the lateral support and the inner row there is a condition if the transverse reinforcement is provided for the outermost row in accordance with the class 26.5.3.2 and if no inner bar inner row is closer to the nearest compression phase because this is not close to the nearest compression phase this is provided in the inner side of the column so no bar of the inner row is closer to the nearest compression phase than three times the diameter of the largest bar in the inner row next one is where the longitudinal bars in a compression member are grouped not in contact see here the longitudinal bars are provided in a group it is not in contact with each other this is one group and here there is another group similarly here we have one group and here we have one group there, there are individual group of longitudinal reinforcement so in that case and each group adequately tied with transverse reinforcement in accordance with 26.5.3.2 so as per this 
this class each group has to be adequately tied with the transverse reinforcement the transverse reinforcement for the compression member as a whole may be provided on the assumption that each group is a single longitudinal bar for the purpose of determining the pitch and diameter of the transverse reinforcement in accordance with 26.5.3.2 the diameter of such transverse reinforcement need not however exceed 20 mm next one is pitch and diameter of lateral ties the pitch of transverse reinforcement shall not be more than the least of the following distance first condition is least lateral dimension of the compression member second one is 16 times the smallest diameter of the longitudinal bar to be tied and third one is 300 mm so among these three which one is the least that we need to consider as the pitch of the lateral ties now we know all the three conditions to provide the pitch of the lateral ties what is pitch of lateral ties as you can see here see this is one lateral tie and another lateral tie is provided here there is a distance okay between these two lateral ties so this is called pitch of lateral tie similarly if you see from the bottom so there is some distance there are lateral ties from the bottom till the top of the column but the distance between these two lateral ties we need to calculate here we have column which is having the dimensions of 230 mm and 600 mm the reinforcement details are given here we have 10 number of bars of 16 mm diameter 10 t 16 is 10 numbers of 16 mm diameter and the lateral tie the ties we have provided here right so that diameter is 8 mm and spacing is 230 mm this is the pitch of ties how much spacing we need to provide the lateral tie 230 mm spacing and how do we arrive this spacing we need to arrive this spacing according to these three conditions the first condition is least lateral dimension of the compression member so for this column it is 230 mm and the second one is 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal bar to be tied 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal bar so in here we have a diameter as 16 mm we have only one diameter of bar 16 mm in case if we have 12 mm bar and 16 mm bar we need to consider the smallest dia of the longitudinal bar so if we have 12 mm bar as well as 16 mm bar we need to consider 12 mm bar only here in this case we have 16 mm so i am considering 16 times the smallest diameter of the longitudinal reinforcement so that comes around 256 mm and third one is 300 mm which is given here so among these three we need to consider least of the following so 230 mm is the least among these three so that is why it is given as t8 at 230 mm center to center in this way we need to calculate the pitch of lateral ties next let's look into the diameter the diameter of the polygonal link or lateral tie shall not be less than 1/4 of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar or in no case less than 16 mm so 1/4 of the diameter of the longitude long, largest longitudinal bar is 1/4 of 16 which comes 4 mm only but in practical case we use 8 mm as the minimum diameter of the bar for lateral ties so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries your comments are always welcome if you like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching